I've got a pile of shame. I've got a pile of shame. I've got a pile of shame. And guess what's inside it? So, it's a new year. And usually folks say, new year, new army. And of course, you know, you might look at this and say, oh, hey, this is a little late for a new year, new army. It's still the new year, and I still have yet to start my new army, I suppose. Kind of. Anyway, I have made a challenge to a number of my friends, contemporaries, to utilize this year as not necessarily a, hey, go out there and buy that new army, but hey, go out there and attack that pile of shame that we have sitting in our houses. Specifically, I convinced them somehow that we should attack our Star Wars Legion stuff because we all have a bunch of Star Wars Legion. Most of us have never played Star Wars Legion past like the intro sequence that they do in like the starter set or what have you. For this challenge, I have chosen to go with the Galactic Republic. My base for this is going to be the 501st box. Now, fun fact, most everything in this box is already built. I have all of my clone troopers built. I have all the ARC troopers built. I have Anakin. I have Obi-Wan. I have two bark speeders in here. I have not built the AT-RT. However, what I need to do to finish this project here and get the clone army to the way that I want to play it is I have to build the machine gun troopers. The name of the gun I do not know off the top of my head and how I'm going to do that is utilizing the Imperial Snow Trooper kit. Now Arden, I hear you scream, Republic can't take Imperial Snow Troopers, it's in the name, Imperial Snow Troopers. Calm down, it's gonna be okay. What I'm gonna do with this kit is I'm going to utilize the bits that I have left from my 501st and from the Clone Trooper box that I have to recreate an homage to one of my favorite units from the original Battlefront 2. If all things go according to plan, you won't even notice a difference. Let's get started. Setting up my workstation, I needed to glove up before I got to work because I knew I was gonna be working with green stuff and super glue and I just didn't wanna get any of the super glue griblies all over my fingers, I hate that. Fishing through my Bix box to find the Z6 minigun for this kit bash, and then fishing through the box of Imperial Snowtroopers to figure out which of the models I wanted to use for this particular build. There were a few different options, and I decided to make my life easier and go for the ones that seemed to already kind of be holding their guns at a fairly upright position. From here it was a matter of assembling the models as needed and putting the arms on using a page out of Pete the Wargamer's book which was a series of modifications and eyeballing it against the modifications and then clipping them again and making modifications until the fit was just right. And I'm actually not opposed or upset at the way that they turned out. Look at this fool trying to show them off to you. Not terrible. There we go. So now the next step was going to be green stuffing, but in my infinite wisdom, I did that off camera, it appears, as well as priming. So now we're going right on to our painting process, and so everything was primed with a bold titanium white from Pro Acryl's range. After that, it was a series of layers. I really really invested very strongly in the two thin coats methodology <laughs> for this paint job. I don't know what it was if the primer was just a little bit off, but this one really took a couple nice thin coats, which really gave me a chance to kind of settle into the process and work through the process and not be afraid of the fact that I needed to do two thin coats or maybe a third here and there. I hit everything with a null oil wash and then started with the layers. I started with our chaos red, my favorite color of red, from the army painter. I'm not entirely sure why. It just really speaks to me and I think it does really well in the allusion and homage to the reference photo that I was using. Other colors that I used, a sable from Vallejo. Then I used Necromancer's Cloak, which is a new color that I had picked up and I'm very fond of based on what I've been able to get out of it so far, not just with these troopers, but also with other troopers that I am working on for this army. And then Dragonfire Red was used for the base rim and a couple of other minor details. It's a nice bright red. I'm not the most sold on Dragonfire Red being the base rim color, but 
We'll see how we feel about that as we move forward and get farther in this project. Any metallics in the project were painted with Lead Belcher from Citadel. And then I based everything in the Astro Granite Basing Technical paint. A couple coats of that just to kind of build that up a little bit. I'm thinking of going back over this at some point with uh, some more rubble and debris. I'm still working through the basing scheme that I want for this army. Probably gonna get some grass tufts in there as well. This might be the army that I invest in some grass tufts. But as of right now, completing the painting, this is where I am at for my Z6 Phase 2 Clone Troopers. scheme I know there are things that I can touch up and I can go back over but this scratches the itch that I've had concerning this army of having clone troopers that resemble those minigun troopers from the original Battlefront 2 on the PlayStation 2. I just think that they're so cool looking and I think that this really pays a strong homage and I'm very very happy that I got this put together. With this out of the way, my hope and intention is that I am now given the motivation to go back into the rest of the army and spend a good amount of time here in May really cranking out some of these units. Hobbying is fun. It can also feel really gratifying when you are able to achieve those goals or repurpose those goals into more achievable goals. And every little bit of serotonin and dopamine for the completion helps. So thank you again for hanging out with me. Happy May the 4th, everybody. Feel free to hit all the buttons that everyone else bugs you about downstairs. My name is Arden13. I am still waiting on that ramen, and I will catch you guys in the next one. May the force be with you. Thank you.